All right, let's take a look at how to view open files on Windows servers. This will also work on uh, client version as well, Windows 10, Windows 7, and uh, should also work on Windows XP. Um, two methods I'll show you. The first one is viewing open files on uh, Windows shares, and then the second method will show you how to view files open by a process. So on my Windows server here, I'll right click on the start menu, go to computer management, and then we'll click on shared folders and go to open files. And right now I've got no open files. So let me jump over to my PC and I will browse to that share. Open up a file. Now I will jump back to my server. I'll refresh this and now you can see I've got uh, this user has that folder and that file open. From here I can right click the file and close the open file. I will close it on the server. Um, that's really about all there is to do with this open files. It really just shows you who has the file open, the path, um, number of locks, the the mode it's in, and then you can close the open file. This is something I see frequently is uh, on heavily used uh, file shares is that multiple people will open the file, it won't close properly, and then it'll have it'll have a lock on it, so the user will. Uh, the user can't do anything about it. Um, an admin will have to come in the back end and close that open file before it can be edited again. So that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, this computer management console is a built-in tool to um, pretty much all versions of Windows. So you can view this on uh, any version of Windows server and client version. So now let's take a look at how to view um, what files are open by a process. To do that, we need to access the task list manager, or actually we need to access the resource monitor. Um, we can get to that by going to task manager, performance, and open resource monitor. And actually a faster way is to use the search. Just type in resource, and there it is. So as you can see, this is just a live look at uh, the process and the file path, uh, or the file that is uh, being used by that process. It's just a live look. Um, not a whole lot of features here. We can select a process to filter um, the view down to just that process. So you can see here I clicked on system. Let me uh, open, say we want to know what files are being used by Internet Explorer. So I open up Internet Explorer and you should see there it is. Uh, I explore pop in here. So so let's click on that. And there you can see it just opened up a, a DLL there. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get any more activity if I search. So yeah, you can see as I as I use it, there's some more DLLs that the process is trying to access. Um, you can see the, the whole file path, the, the process name, the PID. You can see some disk activity as well but not a whole lot of features in this. It's um, just a simple little tool. Um, if you want something more, uh, so it's got more features and more filtering options, uh, take a look at Process Explorer. I have a link to that in the, um, the article, uh, as well as step-by-step uh, -step instructions for both of these methods. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll send you more helpful tips for managing Active Directory and Windows Server. And thanks for watching.